we have some prep to do for Sine 2 Nerdle today, okay? And I, I basically, I need chat's help on this one. We're not cheating, we're doing research before we get started. Today's um, Sine 2 Nerdle movies are Priscilla and Elvis, okay? Now, <clears throat> the only... I, I know I'm... Sofia Coppola is well in my wheelhouse. By the way, I just realized I'm in shadow. There we go. Um, I'm, Sofia Coppola is well in my wheelhouse. I don't know Kaylee Spaney. And um, Jacob Elordi, I only know from Saltburn. And Saltburn is tough for me because then I can get to Barry Keoghan, but then I can't get too far from Gary Keoghan, okay? Or from Barry Keoghan, which is not his name. Apparently his name is actually pronounced Barry Keffen. Um, Elvis, Boz Lerman. I can work with Boz Lerman. Don't get me wrong. Um, and Austin Butler. I can't name another Austin Butler movie, but obviously Tom Hanks is in here, but he's going to get banned in everything. If you get taken into the kissing booth, you can get out via Bullet Train or Annabelle. Okay. I would love to do um, Bullet Train then. <laughs> Because I don't know shit about Annabelle. Although maybe Vera Farmiga is in that one. So let me just, let, you know what? Let's get started here. I don't mind. So we're starting with Elvis. Let's ban Austin Butler. No, no, no. Because I want to lead them to a place. Let's ban Tom Hanks. Even though they're also going to ban Tom Hanks. From Tom Hanks, let's ban Gary Sinise. Because I play Gary Sinise a lot. And let's ban um, Robert Zemeckis, because I don't want to get taken to Forrest. I want to take them to Forrest Gump and then abandon them. Gary Sinise, baby. Oh, it's me first. Okay, Elvis, we go. Um, I don't want to take him to Forrest Gump, if possible. I'm going to take him to Forrest Gump. Yeah? 12.40 a.m. Bro just uses cast lifeline on Forrest Gump. He is 004. I mean, <laughs> Sully. Okay. Tom Hanks is banned. A man called Otto. 2000. Tom Hanks was banned by my opponent. Okay. This is uh, Ron Howard. Splash. Tom Hanks has been banned by my opponent. I hate that I have to use cast on Sully. Maybe we're both ass. In the company of men, Aaron Eckhart. Now let me let me learn something about Sully. It's Clint Eastwood. We learned that last time. Clint Eastwood, Aaron Eckhart, Skylar White, Laura Linney, Laura Linney, Laura Linney, Truman Show, Sully, Truman Show, Sully, Clint Eastwood, Sully, Clint Eastwood. Who's Clint Eastwood? Go ahead. Go ahead. Gat, make my riz. Clint Eastwood, if he was born in 2000 instead of 1871. You skip me on Aaron Eckhart. I'm going to say um, Meet Dave. It's the wrong movie. I'm going to say Thank You for Smoking, 2005. Meet, uh, meet Bill. Am I thinking of Meet Bill? Maybe Meet Bill. Jack and Jill via Katie Holmes. Disconnected. Okay. Jack and Jill via Katie Holmes. Simone via, via Al Pacino. It's kind of crazy that you know Katie Holmes is in Thank You for Smoking. Like, that's insanity. Oh, Meet Dave is the Eddie Murphy one where his, his head is the Eddie Murphy. His car is his own head. I know what you're talking about. I've seen the movie poster. Scarface, Al Pacino, The Recruit, Al Pacino. Now that's a this is a pretty set play for us. Hey Tomo, Tomo, you want to get in your? You want to get in your cat bed? He said no. 
Computer says no. <clears throat> okay, we, we don't rematch, no disrespect. Cole Berry, now we got a game. Priscilla, Priscilla. Priscilla is Sofia Coppola. We ban Sofia Coppola. We ban... I don't know. So, uh, Barry Keoghan. And we ban Jacob Elordi. And if we get led to the kissing booth, we get out via... Why can I only remember Annabelle? We go virgin suicide, Sofia Coppola. Let's get far away from this. Bullet train. Thank you, bullet train. Spider-Man 02, Kirsten Dunst. Wonder Boys, what is the secret of your power? Tobey Maguire. Did his score reset? It resets every, every 24 hours. Everything changes. The only thing that stays the same is people asking if his score got reset. The Great Gatsby 2013. Now, here's the thing. We do a lifeline trade here in all likelihood. I'm going to guess you don't know anyone else in Seabiscuit, and neither do I. So you skip me and I cast. That's what we call a lifeline trade. So, just thinking about where I want to take you. I want to take you to um, Power Rangers 2017 via Elizabeth Banks. I did indeed. Oh, interesting. Okay, hang on. Elizabeth Banks. Really big shoe. Elizabeth Banks. I'm going to take you to Slither. I'm comfortable there. I did see the tweet. Um, back in our day, we used to have to read The Great Gatsby, but these days, all the kids are wondering where The Great Gatsby. I thought that was... If you're going to do a pun, that's the way to do it. I gave that my, my own internal plus two. You, can't, you can minus two me if you want. I just retold it. I didn't make it up. Hey, Valentine, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. What are we doing here on Slither, bro? Did you, did you use a cast lifeline? You, you, got nothing, you don't know who James Gunn is? All right, rematch me. Hey, Tomo, you, you going to make me do it from the other side? Can I say, I used to be, it's weird, I'm like less online than I've ever been by volume, but more online than I've ever been in terms of awareness. So back in, I don't know, whenever this meme came out with the Beyond Chicken Nuggets, I probably didn't find out about it for like, I don't know, eight months, 12 months, something like that. Hang on, we got to start with the virgin suicides here. How funny is it that when I finally figured out where the meme was from, it's the two dudes holding the Beyond Chicken Nuggets from KFC. I thought it was just two dudes pointing at something, making funny faces. I didn't realize they were holding the Beyond Chicken Nuggets from KFC. It's not that funny. I eat meat substitutes fairly regularly. It's pretty funny. <laughs> what are we doing here? Guest 19355446341. What are we doing here? Elvis 2022. I wish, man. Toy Story 95, okay? We go Ratatouille. I will never forget that this has John Ratzenberger in it because his name is Rats. Bugs Life 1998. Brad, Garrett, Shannon, Callahan. I don't know anybody else in a Bugs Life. I got to go for the Toy Story. Oh, I can't because of Tom Hanks' band, right? He, they don't have Tom Hanks' band. <clears throat> You placed any bets on the Epstein list? Listen. <laughs> I, my thoughts on that, I echo the same thing that I've seen on Twitter 50 times. 
is why are they teasing it like the like it's a, a Travis Scott album? We go Monsters Inc. Randy Newman. Oh, John Ransenberger's been used three times. Why? Of course, it's got Tim Allen in it, bro. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Ernest Scared Stupid via Jim Varney. It's got Jim Varney in it. The Emperor's New Groove, Eartha Kitt. Okay, Dickie Roberts, former child star. Kronk's New Groove, okay. Um, Tommy Boy. Kronk's New Groove. I'm not familiar with that one. By the way, I want to say... I forgot to say it at the start because people ask me about the Epstein list. I think that because I've been watching movies on the bike, a nice little synergistic tie-in for me is I get one mental bonus point if I can connect through the movie that I watched that morning if I watched the movie that morning. So Ted, this morning on the bike, I watched The Martian. That's a star-studded cast directed by Ridley Scott, Matt Damon, Jessica Chastain, Sebastian Stan, Chiwetel Ejiofer, Jeff Daniels, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, we could keep going. Michael Pena, bullet... No link was found in bullet train, you... Oh, that's because it's from something else. Oh, we go... Um, 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 do we go to... Um, in this Sharon. That's right. That's right. Childish Gambino is in it, also known as Donald Glover. Jeff Daniels is in it. Um, Benedict Juan is in it. He's apparently he's in every movie about space. Brendan Gleeson. I hate that you've taken me to cavalry. I'm going to just uh, I want to get out of this. I want to get out of Ireland, but I can't. So I'm going to say the guard and I'm going to let you I'm going to uh, dealer's choice. Honestly, Kristen Wiig is in it. You're absolutely right. The General. That's rough. John Voight. Well, I don't like being here. The Deer Hunter, 1978. Okay, that's wrong, wrong Voight, I guess. Anaconda, 1997. <laughs> I'm thinking of Christopher Walken. I got my, my Voights and my Walkens confused. The Odessa File. You know what's crazy is that, um, well, first off, you're old and I'm scared. Um, John Voight and Angelina Jolie, father, daughter, hate each other. They're both in Lara Croft Tomb Raider. How did they get them to put their differences aside in order to be in Lara Croft Tomb Raider? I think this has Daniel Craig in it. So I'm going to say, oh, I don't want to go back to England, bro. I don't want to hit you with a layer cake. I'm going to hit you with a layer cake. Let's, uh, there's no links found. I'm going to hit you with Girl Interrupted, 1999. Great art requires sacrifice. Yep, I, uh, I need your help on this one too. John Malkovich. I'm in trouble, bro. We go Bon Cop, Bad Cop, 2006. <laughs> Welcome to Trois Rivières. The problem is I don't know how to get out of Bon Cop, Bad Cop 2. <laughs> They, that's why you don't play two, because then they might play one, and then you're fucked. But I know how to get out of Calm Fior. He's the bad guy in the Chronicles of Riddick. But if somebody cuts that thread, then my ass is stuck in Laval. You skip me? Okay, now this is the kill shot. This is meant to demoralize you. Bon Cop, Bad Cop 2. This is meant to make you spend 12 seconds thinking, why didn't I think of that? And then you just close the tab. He's in Thor as well. You know what? You're right. He's in, he's in Thor 2, the dark world. Doesn't he play the leader of the, the elves or something?
Oh, that's Christopher Eccleston. You're right. He's kind of like a Scottish calm feel, if you think about it, though. Okay. I think th this play, I don't mind this play. Leaves us in a good spot. Christopher Eccleston isn't Scottish. He's from Northern England. Really? But he's in train spotting. Your ass took me to the fucking Godfather, bro. Uh, I, I, Mario Antoinette. No, is this... I, I gotta remember, there's like... um. There's a Sofia Coppola movie that came out after Marie Antoinette that nobody really remembered. That's got to be my Sofia Coppola kill shot. It has one guy in it. On the rocks. That's exact. Thank you. I had forgotten that it existed. Now from Inception. Take me to X Men United. <laughs> the Last Stand. Thank you. I should never use X Men. I can. It's got too many punctuation marks, man. Oh, some no somewhere. I think is the one I'm thinking of. Is on the rocks about a guy, a, a washed up Hollywood actor, or is somewhere the one about a, a washed up Hollywood actor? The emoji movie. Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. It's insane. This doesn't have Kristen Wiig. It's got to have somebody from Deadpool. Yeah, it just, I, I, I would have put almost all of my money on TJ Miller being the connection, too. Christopher Eccleston isn't in train spotting. You're thinking of Robert Carlyle? You're right. Which is fucking me up because Robert Carlyle's in 28 weeks later. And Christopher Eccleston's in 28 days later, isn't he? It's confusing, bro. Well, for me, I guess. Transformers Age of Extinction. It's crazy you appear to know very little about Deadpool. I'm going to hit you with Deadpool 2. Sicario? I don't want to take you to Mary Poppins Returns. Because <clears throat> you might take me to Mary Poppins. And I don't want to be back in that Dick Van Dyke era, okay? So I'm going to take you to A Quiet Place Part 2, baiting A Quiet Place Part 1. Then I'm going to take you to Devil Wears Prada, maybe. I don't know. It seems like you know you know older cinema because you played one movie from the 70s. Oh, you're going Krasinski mode. First off, spoilers. I would have appreciated a spoiler warning. Um, then let's invite you into Kino Cinema with Drag Me to Hell. Let's go, to, let's go into the Sam Raimi universe. I don't mind. He loves Speed Racer. Take him there as a side quest. Actually, great idea. Wachowskis. Hugh Jackman. Give me a second. I'm going to take you to Real Steel. Emil Hirsch. The Wachowskis. I don't know anybody else in Speed Racer. Outside the wire. Basically, fuck you. Captain America Civil War 2016. Where are you going to abandon me in the Mackieverse? Eight Mile. Nice try. Eminem is in the interview. 2014. <laughs> oh, man. Funny People it also has Eminem in it. That's crazy. He might be in something else, but I don't know it, man. So take me to um, Spanglish. This looks like we got a rally going here. I don't have an Eminem kill shot, unfortunately. Eight Mile? Yeah, that's how we, that's how we got there in the first place. Billy Madison. Adam Sandler kill shot. Now you would think art house, but I'm starting to think based on him, uh, how he's played this so far. I don't think that they know shit about the Adam Sandler classics, honestly. So I'm taking them to Happy Gilmore. I would get out via Christopher McDonald, who is in Flubber personally, but there's there's other plays. Anchorman. That was pure luck. You know that's pure luck. I'll take you to Four Christmases. Anchorman 2. You know shit about Vince Vaughn, huh? Do you know shit about Vince Vaughn? 
How about Maid 2001? Oh, a little can. You're going to find Peter Falk. You're going to find John Favreau. This might have Chris Penn in it. I thought about Psycho. I saw Chatter mention it, but I don't want him to accept my gambit and then start throwing out some, like some Gus Van Zandt shit that I'm not familiar with, okay? So we're going John Leguizamo here. I'm going to take you to Gamer 2009. Plane. That's right. Does this not have Jamie Foxx in it? Or am I crazy? Horrible bosses. To okay, no Jamie Foxx. I haven't seen Plane. As I understand it, there's an airplane involved. Um, we're going to say, take me to 300, and then I'll just see how you choose to respond. There's got to be, oh, Gerard Butler, kill shot law-abiding citizen that we Jamie Foxx out of it. That's right. I got it. I got, I took a step too far. You're going Watchmen. I could go Guardians of Gahul, but I feel like that's a disrespectful play. So I'm going to do it. There you go. I, I'm still taking a plus one for every time we get Guardians of Gahul. We haven't had a lot of practice on that one yet. Sucker Punch has Oscar Isaac in it. Um, take me to Star Wars. I want to give you a, an easy entrance. And then I want to narrow it down over time. Don't hop me. Hop me on one is disrespectful. Anyway, I would just play James Marsden and get out. Christopher Robin. Okay, Winnie the Pooh. There's no way it's not going to have Jim Cummings in it. Don't take me back to 1968. Brother, 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 what are we doing here, man? You're the one who played Christopher Robin, motherfucker. Then you don't have a response for Winnie the Pooh? It doesn't... You played movie 43, bro! Okay. Winnie the Pooh. Springtime with Rue. <laughs> you did this! I would have never said Christopher Robin, bro. All of a sudden, you're stranded with the woozles and the heffalumps. Winnie the Pooh. Blood and honey. We, got to, we had to try, then we skip it back to you. This is where lifeline strategy becomes relevant. I should have typed some movies first, but... You're right, little bro got lost in the 100 acre wood. Now, I love Speed Racer. I mean, no disrespect, you did this to yourself. I didn't open the door to the 100 Acre Wood and say, join me here. You played Christopher Robin thinking you were slick. All of a sudden, you're 12 lifelines down, deep in the poo cave. <clears throat> okay, okay. Too slow. Mom found the poo drawer. A very Murray Christmas. I feel like this involves Scott Ackerman. Austin Powers and Gold Member, 2002. Okay. I mean, obvious. Well, you know what? We could 1x Bill Murray with Broken Flowers. It, by the way, I've never seen A Very Murray Christmas. Is it the most Reddit movie that's ever come out? Or does it just sound like the most... Reddit movie that's ever come out. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of a Bill Murray kill. We Scrooge is a is a tough one. Bill Murray was bound, ba banned by my opponent. Stayed in Maine. Uh, multiplicity. Okay. Or we could play buried. We could inverse in via buried. That's right. Idiocracy is more Reddit. Yeah, but idiocracy is actually good. We'll go Ghostbusters 2. Bill Murray was banned by my opponent. Animal House. The Blues Brothers. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi.
You think I don't know Carrie Fisher's in the Blues Brothers? One of the best movies ever. Well, one of the best movies of the day. It was a really good movie. Frank Oz is in that shit? Yeah, bro, he plays Yoda. Rogue One. Gotta be careful with Rogue One. Take you to Doctor Strange. I don't want to go Dutch, but if you, I, I don't want to be the, the first person to go Dutch. Bro, the cast is right here. You already got them all. They don't, they don't know Marvel? The Avengers. The one went from Doctor Strange to the Avengers. Okay, 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 okay. You a big fan of Marvel? You a big fan of Marvel? Seems like you're a big fan of Marvel. What do you know about fucking Spider-Man Far From Home? If you don't know shit about Doctor Strange, you're not going to go sh know shit about Spider-Man Far From Home, the forgotten middle child of the Spider-Man trilogy. Go ahead, play another Samuel L. Jackson movie. Avengers Age of Ultron. Not, not what I would have done. How about some Captain Marvel? You've walked into his trap? I don't think so. I think this person is about to die. We go um, Army of Darkness. We start with Army of Darkness. Bubba Hotep kill shot. But they got to skip, so we got to be slightly careful. Could have killed with Snakes on a Plane. What's it like to be playing mid-December meta? Snakes on a Plane, boom. I type Keenan Thompson. Good burger. We're out of there. Nobody's getting stuck in Snakes on a Plane anymore, okay? Snakes on a Plane was a kill shot day two of the game coming out. It's like running anti-mage in the jungle and saying, I'm going to get Hand of Midas. They're not going to stop me. Bro, they're going to be ganking the shit out of you with Wisp, okay? You don't know what you're talking about. The problem for me is I got to remember how you get out of Bubba Hotep, and I can't remember right now. We're going to have to re-up our research game in the interim period. So instead, I'm going to play Drag Me to Hell, because if you skip, I need to have a way out. So now, now that we can't play Baba Hotep anyway, what's the Ozzy Davis escape? Do the right thing. Thank you. Thank you. You skip me on Drag Me to Hell? I mean, this has Justin Long. Uh, you know what I like to do here? Cut your last soft lifeline. People play Movie 43 because it's got a, an ensemble cast. Now Movie 43 has been milled. I'm not sweating it. Kick ass two. <laughs> Could go kick ass one on this. I'm going to connect via Sunshine 2007. Mark Strong, he'll take on any. Benedict Wong? I guess Mark Strong. Spoilers, he fucking dies at the end of kick ass one. I didn't know Benedict Wong was in this bitch. You know what that means? I could get to the Martian. I could have gotten to the Martian before. Mark Strong, he'll Benedict Wong. Send me back. Opponent has left the battle. That's your choice. <clears throat> hey, can I get the name of a, of a monster from Monster Hunter, please? I need it for my next joke. Rathalos, thank you. <clears throat> Hang on, I have to go to Gamer first. Mark Strong is in Tar. Oh, really? Does he play Rathalos? <laughs> or Zen Ogre? Oh, you have to have seen... It's a whole... Uh, anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking that with John Leguizamo, I'll take, uh, you know what, I'll just, I'll, I'll take you to Gen Z's favorite movie, which is good because it's a good movie. I'll take you to the menu. It's not a good kill shot, but we keep it rolling.
about a boy. Cloud Atlas. Too bad you don't love Speed Racer. We're one away. One day with Jim Sturgis. Okay, I don't know much about Jim Sturgis, but I do know he's in Across the Universe 2007. Yesterday. They, they know the Beatles connection. They don't know a third Jim Sturgis movie. I can't really blame you for that one. The breathing do sound heavy today. I'm sorry. I did a, a two hour long Peloton ride where I did 20 minutes in zone three, five minutes in zone two, rinse and repeat until that shit was done. It takes a little while for the, the heart rate and the respiratory rate to return to the basal level. Okay. Cast me on Geostorm. Gerard, I should have known Gerard, but I think I've actually seen this shit. I'm going to take you to Ocean's Eleven. Just start with, go with some general audiences. I've seen Geostorm. On a plane? No. It takes place underground. Gimme. Um, traffic? I'm scared about getting abandoned in the Soderbergh universe, but I'm going to make you hit the kill shot. Chicago. Me, myself, and Irene. We're feeling each other out. We're figuring out where the, where the boundaries are right now. We're putting fingers into the firmament to see how it stretches. The Mask, 1994. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The rare Ben Stein connection. Speed via Alan Ruck. Okay, I understand where you're going with that one. Let's play a little Bird Box. No, 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 because then the, the, if you get Bird Box Barcelona, it's like a guaranteed draw. How about the Super Mario Brothers movie, 1993 via Dennis Hopper? Please do not take me back to the 70s or the 60s. If you take me to David Lynch, I would accept that. You skipped me on, the, on Super Mario Brothers 1993? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got to take you back, bro. I got to take your ass to like Blue Velvet or something. I don't want to get stuck in Bob Hoskins territory. I'd rather, I'd rather choose... Oh, but then the kill shot on Dennis Hopper is fucking nutty, bro. But he does, if he knew, he would have played it already. If he knew, he would have played it already. David Lynch, director... I'm going to assume this has like uh, Kyle MacLachlan and Isabella Rossellini. Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. You ever hear of a little movie called The Prestige? We Escape. Empire of the Sun, Christian Bale. Newsies, Christian Bale. I'm going to make you kill me on Christian Bale. Do your best. High School Musical, Kenny Ortega, The Iron Claw, okay, Neighbors 2, Soror oh, you know what, I'm very comfortable with Dirty Grandpa, we got to get out of the High School Musicals, The Intern, nice try, Princess Diaries 2001, The lifelines are gone. It's just a matter of time. Sound of Music? Fuck you. <laughs> Princess Diaries fucking two. Mary, Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins Goodbye, 1983. Mary Poppins, 1960. Mary Poppins Returns, 2018. Mary Poppins, 1964. I forgot Julie Andrews fucking Nuts on the Table, the remake. Mary Poppins Returns. The Devil Wears Prada. It's 
is poor things in this game? Someone just said in chat, let's find out. It is not, unfortunately. The Stanley Tucci connection. Easy A, Emma Stone. I'm going to take you to La La Land. And uh, I'm comfortable here. We just got, we're, we're angling, we're setting up right for the kill shot. You're going drive. Okay, from drive, I'm taking you to Maestro. Oh, it doesn't exist yet. Okay. Promising young woman, 2020, which takes us back to Saltburn. And now we're in, I'd say, comfortable territory. I'm in that movie. Yo, Ryan Gosling in the chat. Ryan Gosling. You took me to Saltburn. How about... Uneducation. That's the one I'm looking for. Carrie Mulligan. Peter Sarsgaard. Apparently Rosamund Pike. I forgot about that. Gone Girl. Rosamund Pike kill shot. Die another day. <laughs> we care a lot. We care a lot. That's not, maybe it's not called that. Die another day. What's, what's it called? The movie where she's scamming the old people? I care a lot. I was thinking of the motherfucking Faith No More. God dunk. God dunk dunk da da dum dunk 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 chick a dun chick a dun do da okay you know what I'm saying um, I'm gonna I'm gonna invite you to do a Pierce Brosnan kill shot I never do it's a song it's it's we care a lot by Faith No More. It's one of their four songs. Mama Mia, here we go again. Mean Girls, Amanda Seyfried. They have four good albums. Yeah, with, with three good songs total. Date Night, hmm. Come Home, Work Sucks, I Know. Welcome to Marwin. This is our Steve Carell connection. Insane minus two. I like Faith No More. Hmm, I meant Janelle Monone. Janelle Monone. <laughs> Janelle Monet is also in Hidden Figures, which I'm going to watch because it's on Disney Plus. It's the perfect length for a bike ride. Janelle Monone. Set it up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glenn Powell is also in Anyone But You. He's also in Top Gun. No, you know, he's in Everybody Wants Some by Richard Linkletter. We want some too. School of Rock. I Carly, I go to Japan. I am just not comfortable that I can get out of this. Unfortunately, so I'm going to take you to Nacho Libre. I'm simply not because I know they don't have lifelines, but if somehow they have a Miranda Cosgrove link, I'm I'm marooned. I'm moored. Hold the Julianne. OK, Jack Black, Mike White. You're dead. You're dead. The D train 2015. Nobody but me saw this movie. It's too subversive. The average male mind can't sit through 110 minutes of this film. I did it and I enjoyed it. You gave me the, the perfect synchronous kill shot. Both writer and star. Well played. You hung on. Now, the connection there, you fucking play hop, bro. James Marsden is in that movie. You escape via that path. 11 and 2, okay.